Hello Gemini, welcome to my spiritual oasis here where your souls come to find inner wisdom and peace. We are doing an almost personal money path reading for you today. We're diving deeper into the pursuit section of your areas of life reading. You can of course check out the full areas of life reading if you want a more holistic view of our conversation today. But in general, doing a career and money reading for you. So, we're going to have several different tools of divination. We're going to be casting some charms. We have tarot, we have oracle. I am going to slide our charm casting off to the side so we can focus on our cards first. So, in your areas of life reading, um, we're lo really looking at the strength for you to pursue your joy. Um, you're enjoying the fruits of your labor when it comes to your love spaces. Um, but looking for purpose and a manifesting abundance so we're going to be looking at um what's holding you back and we're also going to be looking at um you know what your focus should be some options potentially to see if there are multiple different avenues that you could go or if it's kind of one focused energy so as i shuffle out our guiding energy here we're looking at um what, what we should focus on and then we'll look at what, what's holding us back from that um, as I'm shuffling out our energy, I would love to invite you to join the Kindred family if we're not already connected here by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if something resonates. Bearing in mind, this is a general reading, so general application. It might or might not resonate with you, and if it doesn't, that's no problem at all. You can check your other placements, or I will see you in an upcoming reading. Clicking like on the video, of course, supports my channel, and I do appreciate that. All right, so what is uh, Gemini's focus here when it comes to money path? So what is the focus? What is the focus? Six of Pentacles, even Steven, says Gemini. Even Stevens. Okay, so what's uh, the difficulty or challenge here? What's holding back prosperity? Queen of Pentacles, comfort. Comfort. Is crossing okay so this is the message that I'm getting your focus is on evenness equal right sometimes you're the giver sometimes you're the receiver it's even Stevens three and three um, we got to keep it balanced but what's keeping that from actually happening is the Queen of Pentacles so nurturing and nourishing the seed of that um, pentacle space this could also be a person um, that's more focused on comfort personal comfort um, they could have strong Capricorn energy in their birth chart as well um, you could have strong Capricorn placements somewhere in your birth chart as well um, but the need or a sense of comfort is what's getting in the way of this kind of balanced even Stevens harmonious sort of energy Honestly, I'm feeling like the Six of Pentacles in this particular situation feels breadcrumbish. Because that's just not the way life works. Um, should there collectively be a harmony and a balance? Yes, there should be. But honestly, like it's not always one for one, two for two. Sometimes it's like you have to put in 10 in order to get 10x out later. But it's almost like an unwillingness to be uncomfortable, an unwillingness to be, to, to give in an unbalanced way in order to get something imbalanced, if that makes any sense. So the example that I'm thinking of here is like, it's like you're giving one seed for another seed one seed for another seed and that's kind of the thought process there when it's like you don't really want a one for one when you plant a seed in the ground when you plant an apple tree you don't want one apple from the tree you want an abundance you want more you want to get more than what you're inputting when you make an investment you don't want the same thing back you're investing because you want more out from what you're putting in and so that's what I'm feeling like being too comfortable in this one for one sort of thing and it's holding you back from actually being abundant and finding 
um, more. So let's see some options that might be a little bit of risk. Let's, what are the options here for Gemini in order to get out of this cycle? We have Ace of Cup, option one. The Devil, option two. <laughs> and option three. And again, we're looking at them as three different options, but they might connect as well. So we're keeping our options open there for that. And we have the sun for the third option. <laughs> so if you were to pick the riskiest option, which one would it probably end up being? <laughs> Devil. Devil. Okay. So I'm being ridiculous. Um, so of the three options, and it actually kind of feels like three different paths that you could take. Um, we have an Ace of Cups. So we have a new um, spiritual, emotional, creative option. It feels creative. A new creative option that you could pursue here. We'll look at the quality of these in a second. Option two, we have the Devil Energy. So something... This is what I'm getting for this one. It is, um, it looks good on the outside. It is something that's probably gonna move very quickly. It promises big returns, quick returns, like that sort of thing. And it feels like an easy, it feels like the easy way. It feels like the easy road. It feels simple. It's quick, it's fast. Like it's using these sorts of terms that make you raise an eyebrow. There's gonna be a level of discomfort here. It could also be something that forces you to tap into your low vibe. Something that forces you, or not forces, but encourages you to tap into your low vibe, your low vibrational energy, which, you know, Gemini energy, impatient, argumentative, short-sighted, um, those sorts of energies and then the third option the sun <laughs> this feels like an option that feels good it's that it's youthful delight potentially even something that you did in your in your youth and you're bringing it back and able to make money make money off of it get receive abundance off of it um it feels like it could definitely be connected to your sun sign energy as well. Um, your ascendant energy, your north node energy. It is a direction. It is the direction that your soul is moving in. I'm also feeling like it is, uh, it's going to be something that's very apparent, very obvious. We have Capricorn energy here again. I just saw that Leo as well. Um, but this could be related to our queen with the Capricorn connection. That's just literally just kind of a brain. Um, let's look at the quality of these different options here. They do feel like separate options. Let's look at the Ace of Cups. What is the quality of this option? Gemini, quality. What is the quality of this first option for Gemini? East beginnings, okay. Two literal messages about, about, uh, about beginnings, okay. So you're starting something. Um, let's do, 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 do. Let's do this one. Um, help me understand East. Could literally be something that has you traveling East, beginning or starting on the East Coast. Also paying attention to sun rising. Sun rising. This could also be connecting this path, these two paths together. I was kind of vibing that too, that the sun path and the ace of cup path might be 
blended somehow. Help me better understand East beginnings. What kind of beginnings? What information do you have to share? Fool. More newness. New, 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 new. Beginning, starting, adventure. New, 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 new. Options, options, options. New options. Many options. Beginnings. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Torn. All right. So, as you can see, Help me clarify this new option. Oh, a beginning. Okay. Help me clarify this beginning. Oh, infinite possibilities. S something new. Okay. Um, I, I get that. <laughs> there could also be some mystery here with the Seven of Cups. This idea of mystery. The Eight of Swords here. Inability to see. Like I said, there's some mystery I'm trying to dig, but not really allowing me to dig. It feels like it has to be a personal journey for you. And of course, it's going to be different for everybody. But what I do see here is that there are going to be many options. This Ace of Cups is going to present many options. And of course, you're going to have to make a decision. It's going to be difficult for you to make a decision. You're not going to want to make a decision. Um, it's going to be weighing heavily on your mind. But some things to consider is this. Is it joyous? Is it um, freedom? Does it grant you freedom? Is it something that's challenging you as well? Um, infinite possibilities to me is like, Uh, it, it, thinking outside of the box and being able to explore several different options is kind of what I'm feeling. The exploration of several different options that have a strong ability to lead to something that is refreshing, that is um, life granting that allows you to tap into your creativity, that is spiritually aligned with your path and purpose. So these are the sorts of things that you're looking for, but it feels like it's something that you will have to explore. That part of this path is the exploration of option, okay? So let's look at the quality of our devil option here. <laughs> Makes it sound so appealing, doesn't it? Look at the different option. It's a good option too. It could also be talking about pursuing pleasure too. It doesn't necessarily have to be negative, but I was vibing something a little on the tricky side because it was connected with the blockage. Ooh. Fire. Ignition. Devil's Advocate is a message that I just got too. Challenge your preconceptions, Gemini. You started off by saying your focus was on this even Steven, six of pentacles, balanced, harmonious, but not in a high vibe way. It's like balance as in like one for one, two for two, three for three. But again, when we're talking about investments, there is some risk, yes, which our Queen of Pentacles feels risk averse in this situation as it's blocking. It's, it's, it's keeping things comfortable. And as long as you stay comfortable, you're never going to grow. You're never going to be able to expand. And so I feel like this option is like the devil's advocate option. Fighting against the comfort. There's fire here. We're igniting something. We're starting something. 
We've been suppressing our passion for too long. It is time to go after it. It's time to go after it. Okay, let's, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit better about this devil option, honestly. And it might also be connected to our sun, which is pure fire energy, right? Pure fire. Um, they're just making me bend over today. We have the magician. We have the four of wands. Let's do one more. Queen of cups. Devil's Advocate. I am. I'm feeling a lot better about this option now that we've, we're, we were clarifying. This option is saying, get off your butt. Get out of this comfort place. This even Stevens. This is an investment. This isn't how you invest. There is going to be some risk, which I feel like the devil represents here, right? That fear. The devil really represents our own internal fear and magnified right it's this devil it has us chained we're trapped when in reality we're not we could get out we could get away if we really wanted to trapped in your own comfort trapped in your own cowardice is the word that just floated through my brain The devil's advocate, the devil is saying, in this case, in this situation is saying, let's get passionate about it. We have all this earth energy, we're grounded. We've got all the nurturing ability to nurture, but we have no water. We have no passion. So something has to change or things are going to stay the same. We have to make moves. We have to be passionate. We have to be intense. We have to be forward momentum. We have to ignite this flame. Whew. It's getting intense in here. Mm. We have the four of wands clarifying our fire. So this isn't just fire, blah, burning down the forests and destroying everything in its path. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a number four fire. This is grounded fire. So we're taking our passions, we're grounding it to make it something. We're able to focus it. We're able to focus it in a harmonious way in order to achieve our own personal goals. We have the magician we are manifesting here. We're igniting this flame in order to manifest what we're going after. This is your power card, Jim. Queen of Cups here. In intuition, discernment. Um, if you have cancer in your birth chart, use her. Use her, okay? So, feeling a bit better about this devil energy, or, sorry, feeling a bit better about the devil option, and I'm also feeling like things are starting to kind of connect for me, but we're just going to keep going. Let's look at the quality of our sun here. Woo! I'm getting wordy, y'all. And I still wanted to do charms. Okay, let's look at the quality of the sun. Quality of the sun here, the sun option. Storms, cleansing. Hmm, number five energy. Freedom. Freedom, which is to me what the sun also represents. Not sure why I am still shuffling that. There you go. Let's look at the quality of these storms. Rain on me. The Lady Gaga Ariana song. Rain on me, rain, rain, rain on me. Okay, that might be significant. Give the Two of Swords here. Intuition, water energy is very present here. Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, Discernment, Intuition, Discernment, and we had the world and the, very interesting, the world and the Two of Wands show up as well. So, mm, 
this option feels like it's very much so focused on truth. Overbalance and harmony, I wouldn't say over because they're not one or the other, but I do feel like, you know, we're so focused on quote unquote harmony and balance, right? We're just trying to keep, we're just, just trying to keep the skill just to it's 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 when you're loot when you miss the bigger picture it's irrelevant and i feel like this is focusing on the bigger picture the sun what warms you forget about the the scales for a second what warms you what brings you joy what is intense and fiery connected to your solar plexus chakra what grounds you what is your balance? And sometimes, you know what, we gotta go through a storm in order to get there. It feels, you know, like Scorpio energy feels like the tower. Um, you're bringing those sticky things to the surface and you're seeing them for what they are. You're seeing the truth in them. You're seeing the reality in them. And when you're able to do that, you're able, you have the world at your fingertips. You know, when the, the storm is over and the clouds clear. The sun is out and is shining on everything. And you get to see four miles. You get to see in the distance. You get you have the world at your fingertips. We have the world in the two of wands as well as the world. New cycle. You have to end the cycle, however, before you can begin a cycle. So if I were to look at this holistically, I would say... Sun path is the first path. You got to clear the way. You got to get rid of all of these limiting things in your life. Get to get alignment with your truth. You know, looking at the truth, slicing the things that are not getting them out of your way. You're defending your truth because you know what your truth is. You're able to therefore make the decisions from a place of understanding your world and where you live in it. A new cycle. You're going to start a new cycle. This is the new cycle. And this option is saying, let's put some fire, some energy, some direction, manifestation, you know, um, again, connection to intuition, intuition, discernment, um, focusing on your internal compasses are highlighted here. I know I'm running out of time, but because I'm nosy, and I promise you charms. So let's do some charm casting. I have my career focus charm casting mat, if you will. Oh no. Let's just see what we get. Sacrifice is the focus. What are you willing to sacrifice? In order to get what you want, to get what you desire, make moves for yourself. We have Four of Swords, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Cups in partnerships. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Cups in partnerships, collaborations, and mergers. Okay. So to me, that's telling me that... Um, another two of cups in collaboration career could be two two energies that are connecting with you independently and they're going to be mutually beneficial you're getting something the other entity is getting something and it is something that is in alignment with your individual personal abundance Two of Pentacles, so we're doing some balancing in the business space here, but this is in the periphery a bit. So we may have some, some difficulties and challenges, some anchors here in the investment business space, but it's a bit in the distance, um, or it's kind of in your peripheral vision. It's not the focus, right? It's not where your eyes are focused. It's on the edges um, here. Root chakra energy in that investment. This, to me, is a message around understanding the root of... Um, your investments, knowing where they come from, you know, who's um, understanding them from the root, from the ground. You're not investing in anything that you're unsure, you're uncertain about what it is, that sort of thing. Um, 
in the money mindset space, we have the wands energy and that forest sword. So lots of fire. We're making moves in the money mindset and or a focus on making moves in your money mindset. Also resting your mind a bit. Obviously, um, we don't want to over do it. Um, a focus on sport in the growth potential and calculated risk section. So investments in general might be a bit of a sport. Be mindful of that. Um, make sure that you're still making smart choices, of course. Um, and the sacrifices that you are making, you're aware of them. And they're not like critical things that you need. Um, we have a screwdriver and compensation. So tools of compensation, work and effort into how you're being compensated. Um, we have our kissy lips. <laughs> Social, social life, social currency, and philanthropy. Um, <laughs> this is just telling me that there might be some sort of benefits coming to you from a romantic interest. Um, be loud in your social life. You're a social bug, Gemini. You're a social individual, so use that skill set. You have the, you are the key to your social life, and I do feel like that could offer some opportunities, and it could also be connected to our partners and collaborations yeah that's what I'm seeing here for you it's going to be an intense ride but I do feel like something has to give that keeping things even Stevens in quotation marks is not an investment. It's not a wise way to invest because we know that there's inflation and other things like that that happen. And that is why we invest. We take a bit of a risk. We take a bit of a risk in order to get a larger return, but we're being mindful and we're making intelligent investments. We're not just risking to risk and we're not risking blindly, okay? So my beautiful Geminis, these are the money path messages that I have channeled for you today. I certainly hope this is helpful. Something resonated. Do drop a comment, have a look, click like, subscribe, and I shall see you in an upcoming message. Bye.